I'm on vacation every single day cause I love my occupation Hey, I'm on vacation every single day, every, every single day Every single day, every single day this thing on? I think it works. Yeah, it works. Okay. We're back. We are back. Living large. It's been a while when <laughs> we were to do this. Well, we're excited for season two of Digital Men. Glad you guys are back as well. I lost a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get that out there for season two. It's like, I'm going to be rocking no tooth for a little bit. So It's not the only thing we lost this summer. That is correct. We lost a good friend and a good employee. He's in a better place now. R.I.P. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Kyle uh, went off to do some stuff with his church, do some more ministry stuff. We're totally stoked for him. Wish him all the best. Um, and who knows who's going to join our team, and you'll see throughout the season. Season two, keep your eyes open and your ears peeled. Hope you guys had a great summer. We actually did something pretty big. We went and helped out Bridgeport schools and the elementary teachers with the school supplies that they needed to get the year started. And we want you guys to take a look at how it all went down. So you may know my wife's a teacher, and every year she spends upward to $500 to $1,000 to get the school supplies for her students so they can do their work throughout the year. And so I thought, as having a company, how could we change that up and do something to help with that? So we asked some businesses that we're connected with to donate supplies that the teachers asked for, as well as we asked them to challenge businesses that we're connected with so they could donate as well. So together, we were able to get all the supplies the teachers asked for, and then some. We were honored that our friends at 242 Community Church that are in this building as well stepped up and said, hey, we want to give all the supplies that we're donating and collecting on Sundays to your drive as well. So with their contributions, with the businesses we worked with, and then we also took it a step further and asked a local restaurant, which is O's Pub and Grill in Auburn, and uh, as well as Residential Home Health to donate some gift cards so that they could get other things they needed throughout the year. And we know the school year is busy, so they could go out to dinner and have a good time with that as well. So we really wanted to appreciate the teachers, all they do for us and the community. So I'm super excited that we're doing this for people. I don't think um, the general public understands how much teachers put their own money into this and their own time. Um, and these kids really need supplies to learn. And so I'm happy that, uh, that we got this opportunity. How many pencil boxes do these kids need? So since 242 Community Church played a big part, we wanted to invite them to come out. So we had Jim and Bree, who represented the church, to come out and be part of this big celebration. One of the most important things that you can do for your company is branding. Um, some companies are good at it and some people go a little too far. Today I noticed that we have our own branded cones for uh, traffic control. It really meant a lot to have my wife and my daughter there for this event. So as you know, many supplies drives happen for schools, but I think the biggest part is you don't get to see what happens. So we wanted to go live on Facebook to show us truly giving the supplies and seeing how it all worked out. So we invited the media to come out and I'm honored that TV5 and WSGW came out to cover the event. Lots of school supplies in the stores. A lot of students do not come with school supplies, so this is very much appreciated. I just got to see the teachers' reaction. They were super happy. They're super excited. I know this is going to help their lives out immensely and the kids. So, awesome job, Digital Mitten. I think we did a good thing here. I 
don't know if it's just me, but every school has a distinct smell and it brought back some serious memories from childhood and elementary school. And if any of my teachers out there are watching, I want to apologize and I hope that this good deed does not go unnoticed. So it was really awesome to see the teacher's reaction, talking with them after, and still to this day, they message us and thank us again for helping out. We really want to do more of this as a company and really looking forward to the next opportunity. James, I, I feel like we have to like tell people why. I think I have to explain the tooth because it, it's kind of weird looking. It is right up. Go for it. Okay, so. Should we get a close shot? Yeah, we're not too close because I just uh, ate lunch, man. It's great for client meetings, right? Yeah, right. It's right. good for girlfriends. Too. Yes, girl. The girls, the ladies love it. You wouldn't believe. So basically, I didn't have an adult tooth to fill it, so they had to put an implant in. And the crown's coming, they tell me, but I've been waiting for like six months. So that's why I'm rocking no tooth.